So if you're considering constructing a raised bed, there are some special considerations with regards to what soil you'll put in there and other types of amendments. One of the challenges that we can run into with a raised bed is because we are usually bringing in topsoil from another location, oftentimes we're going to be, have very little soil structure, especially if it has a really high clay content we can be really prone to compaction issues. So it's really important if you're considering a raised bed to make sure that you have lots of organic matter to add to help build that soil structure and help minimize those compaction issues. Some amendments you can consider using to add organic matter to your raised bed include leaves or grass or coffee grounds or well-aged livestock manure or other sources of compost. So these amendments can be laid on the soil surface and turned in with a shovel or you could get a little rototiller or some other equipment to be able to turn the soil in. It is really important that you mix these throughout the soil bed and help to add that organic matter throughout the soil profile. Once you have brought some soil into your raised bed and you're working on adding amendments, you can also do a soil test and that will identify any specific issues or needs or concerns that you have with the soil and help you identify the appropriate amendments. If you have any further questions or need help with your raised bed gardening, contact your local Extension office. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension and you're watching From the Ground Up.